All right, here we are back again with more tips for co-anglers. That's right, it's a co-angler series. I call it AKA the Johnny Ryder series, because my name's John, and I was a co-angler for a while. I fished a bunch of tournaments as a co-angler before I switched over to the front, and while I fished in the front some. Uh, so I know, I know what it's like to fish in this seat right here. Number one, make sure you have your life jacket. I don't have mine on right now, but I'm just sitting here Make sure you have your life jacket by all means. Um, but we're going to talk about the best baits for wintertime and pre-spawn. That early spring, pre-spawn, aka sometimes it's like late winter, whatever you want to call it. That's right when the tournaments start up. We're talking about in the south, like Lake Gunnersville, Smith Mountain Lake, um, all across the middle part of the country. That time of the year, co-anglers are jazzed up they've been watching youtube videos for four months ready for the season to begin and here we are the season is beginning so you just need to take a couple baits and you can adapt them to make them work so number one bait for me is probably going to be even though it's co-angler we're talking about a jig the mini flip jig is probably going to be my number one bait and that's if i'm in the front or the back it is such a good bait it's hard to it's hard to put it down. Catches a lot of fish, catches big fish, that time of year especially. The half ounce can be great to cast, let hit the bottom and drag, especially in a little deeper areas. But don't be afraid to go to like a three eighths ounce. This is probably my number one. It's the Bammer Crawl. I got the little uh, mini D chunk on the back, fits on it perfectly. But I'm gonna take this, cast it around drag it real slow it's it doesn't it's three eighths of an ounce so it doesn't you know like drag on the, on the bottom like a carolina rig so don't expect that you're just going to tick the bottom every once in a while but in that that period of time we're talking early spring late winter that is a really really good color it is a good size that just ticking across the bottom is a big deal and we're, we're talking about any you know gra even if there's grass lines um around docks on points just going down the bank any that can be a key player so that's probably my number one bait number two bait so if we get a little wind kick up gets it hard to drag that jig around wind kicks up a little bit i'm probably going to pick up a jerk bait jerk bait's probably one of my favorites now this is a mixed stick right here vision 110 uh you know it's it's kind of a big spend if you're going to be in the back in the back of the boat some guys might not want to put that put that kind of money into it. You get a good quality jerk bait. That is the key. Uh, this is a very good cold water jerk bait. But if you get a little bit of wind or you get some overcast conditions or don't say it. Okay, snow or rain. Yes, I said it. In that time of year can be a little scary. But uh, by all means, uh, jerk bait can be good when those conditions show themselves. Man, those fish can come from kind of anywhere. Just throw it around any type of color, co cover, any type of point, bluff, uh, just going down the bank, throwing it around docks, throwing it around bridges. Those fish will come and get that jerk bait. I don't think there's one particular cadence or I tell you, you know, jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. I don't think there's one particular thing I can tell you. Uh, you, can, you can experiment with, uh, you know, how long you leave it sit. All that kind of stuff is up to you, uh, but that that jerk bait is definitely my number two. Number three, going to be another spinning rod technique. It's the Ned rig. Ned rig. I mean, this is even killer, killer in Florida. Uh, we're talking all across the South. I like bait fish colors early in the season. Uh, you're going to be throwing this out. Don't let it drag on the bottom. You're going to be picking it up. Just kind of keep it moving slowly. If it hits the bottom occasionally, that's perfectly fine. But if you get around those fish, you can absolutely get into them. Don't be afraid to swim it up off the bottom either. Do not do not be afraid to do that. I, I throw either a 16th or an 8th. Yes, very light. The 16th really slows the bait down. Even though, I mean, you can let that 16th get all the way down to 20 feet of water. Uh, but just you know, you're just going to crawl it to keep it down there real slow. Uh, so that's why I recommend the 16th ounce sometimes. Eighth ounce probably what you're going to fish if you're going to be fishing a little bit deeper most of the time. Again, 
not going to be dragging that up on the down on the bottom if i want to drag that bait down on the bottom i'm going to pick up a shaky head probably a bait like a quiver 4.5 really good in any time of year and even in that pre-spawn uh, time period as well throw it around if you're around cover you know you're around brush piles lay downs um, any of that kind of stuff if you want to kind of mix it up from the mini flip give them a little different profile there you go shaky head tried and true been there done that been there caught that with the shaky head those are your top four baits for the co-anglers for that time of year put that in your hand and you will catch fish behind anybody